How are you doing? This is Alex. And often I would like to share stories on how we're such a successful company and we do everything right. But there are a lot of times that we've made mistakes. We did this before when we referenced before mistakes I've made as a manager. I honestly should have put this in there, but I'm going to share this one to you, with you because this was something I felt was completely boneheaded. I could have prevented and I'm going to call this episode how to make lemonade out of lemons. So we get a phone call from this company and they want us to transport their customers or patients from the parking lot to the front door. Now, the reason they call us for a couple of reasons, these people that are coming into this medical center have orthopedic issues and they don't want them walking as far. They could have back issues, leg issues. They could be on wheelchairs. They could be on crutches, whatever the case is, they want us to pick the people up and drive them to the front door. It's not much, maybe a football field. So hundred yards or so, maybe even 200 yards, but it's very difficult. And there was a slight hill. So that's what made it difficult. So what they wanted us to do is have a van or a golf cart, drive around, pick up the people and drive them to the front door. And usually we can use a golf cart, but golf carts are not good weather permitting. If it's raining really bad, rain's gonna get inside the golf cart. Even if you have those clear um, partitions or curtains as they call them, cause it gets really humid in there and we don't have uh, heat or air in a golf cart. So I said, you know what? We can do a minivan. A minivan works better. They have two sliding doors, power sliding doors, so we can open up the doors for people. And also it's heated or aired. And this was in the winter month. So this is something that we needed more heated and it worked out perfectly. So they agreed to it and we put our proposal in. So we gave them the hourly rate, which included the driver and the van. But where I messed up, I forgot to include fuel and I forgot to include uh, insurance because I was distracted. I was working on something else. And by the time I submitted it, they signed it and sent it back in. So I give them a call and I explain to them. I say, hey, you know what? I think I made a mistake. The hourly rate is incorrect. This is the, supposed to be the rate, which was uh, whatever the X amount of dollars were. And they got upset with us. They said, no, we've already signed it. We've gotten it approved. It went through whatever approval process and you have to honor this. And I'm pissed. But at the same time, I'm the type of company. I said, you know what? We made a mistake. That's our integrity. We're not going to sit here and just say, you know what? We're not going to do it. Find another company. So I said, hmm, let me figure a way out. But at this point, what we would typically do is rent a van from rent um, enterprise or budget and just rent it on a monthly basis. And I forgot to include this was not a full time contract. This was just a quarterly contract, which means it only took place for three months. So I could just rent a van for three months. We've owned vans in the past, but it's easier and cheaper just to maintain, have enterprise and all of them maintain it. The only difference is the cost is much higher, but I should have factored that in, which I didn't do. So anyway, this contract starts on Monday. It's now Thursday, Friday. They say we have to honor it at this price and I'm upset. What am I going to do? So through my, I guess, knowledge of cars, I figured out, you know what? Let me just buy a van. I'm going to buy a van, make sure it's clean as possible. Make sure the air works, the heat works, everything is necessary sticker it up and let's use it. And that's what I did. So I got all over Craigslist, Auto Trader, anything possible. Facebook Marketplace. I don't even think Facebook Marketplace was a thing then. This is probably about three years ago. And I just went through crazy. I finally found a Honda Odyssey minivan. It was gold. It was relatively clean. It needed to be cleaned out and it had a bad smoke odor. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to have to get in and start detailing this car. So I detailed it like crazy, um, really shampooed all the carpets. I put a air ionizer in there and then I did, they had these Meguiar um, bombs, like smell bombs. And you put the air on or the heat on and let it run through for about 15 or 20 minutes. And you know, it worked. It worked to the point where it was acceptable. So I ran a second one, maybe a week or two later, and it worked. I ordered the stickers, got them for the van. Monday morning, we were ready to go. So they were a little upset because they were expecting a newer van. But at this point, hey, the job was getting done. We were professional, had uniformed valets there and everything needed. But at the same time, it wasn't a brand new van. So be it. It was clean. It had, uh, I think, dual sliding doors. 
And our job is to put the people in there, drive them up to the front, help them out and walk them to the front door. And we did it. We did it to the point where everybody was happy. They loved our customer service and all they could do was rave about our service continually. So in the process of buying this Honda Odyssey minivan, I think we purchased it for about $3,500, which was good. And what was, ha what was great about this, we worked Monday through Friday. We had to put fuel in the car probably every, probably every week because we weren't driving around very much. So every week we had to put fuel in the car, but on the weekends I would bring the car home and detail it fully and then put another one of those stink bombs in, whatever it was called, the Meguiar thing. But it actually worked for me and I was pretty happy with it. We kept that thing spotless and honestly, I would just wax it every week until it was shiny and put it back into service. So anyway, everything was good. Our contract was over. And at the end of the term, I was surprised to see that I could flip this van over and make almost another $2,000 on top of what we paid for it. So even though we didn't get paid for the insurance side and the fuel side, I was able to offset that because the price that I had charged to rent the van on a weekly basis, not only did I not have to pay that, I actually made money by owning that van for three months. So in a way you could say it's kind of shrewd negotiations, but rather so I would say, you know what, we really turned lemons and made them into lemonade.